are you all doing? Welcome to yet another beautiful online Sunday service. Yay! Okay, who can remind us of what we learned about last week? The story? Good. The story was about how God fed the children of Israel with bread from heaven called manna. Yes, called manna in the wilderness after they left Egypt. You remember God told them to leave Egypt? Yes, when the suffering was too much. And in the wilderness, God decided to feed them with bread from heaven called manna. Okay, today we'll be talking about God's mercy again. And today we'll be talking about how God had mercy on his people and he provided for them. Yeah, we provided for them by having mercy on the children of God again. But before we go into that story, we have a beautiful story for you today. Before we go into the story, let's go and praise and worship God. Yeah! Are you ready? Yes, if you're ready, join me. Let's praise and worship God and we'll come back to enjoy our story. See you later. Running over, running over. The Lord has filled our hearts. Come on now, let's take it again. Running over, running over. My heart is full and running over. Jesus Christ loves me. I am happy, happy, happy. My heart is full and running over. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah to the Lord five times. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Yes, shout hallelujah to the Lord three times. So we will shout and dance and clap for Jesus, right? Beautiful. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my soul, I will dance like David danced. Come on now, come on, let us some beautiful dance for Jesus. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my soul, I will dance like David danced. Will you dance? I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like David danced, I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like David danced. Beautiful, are you ready to clap? When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my soul, I will clap like David claps. Clap for Jesus now. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, I will clap like David claps. Will you clap? I will clap. I will clap. I will clap like David claps. I will clap. I will clap. I will clap like David claps. One more time. Clap, I will clap, I will clap. 
clap like David clapped. I will clap. I will clap. I will clap like David clapped. Beautiful children, clap for Jesus. Keep clapping for Jesus. And what do we do when we want to pray? Eyes closed, hands together. Again, eyes closed, hands together. Now, let's close our eyes our put, and put our hands together. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, dear Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise and we worship you for all of the good things that you've done for us. We thank you for good health. We thank you for keeping our mommies and daddies and for healing us when any of us is sick. Lord, we say thank you. Now, dear Lord, as we are about to listen to today's lesson, we ask that you grant us wisdom and understanding you grant we the children and our teachers wisdom and understanding to understand all that we are going to be taught today in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed and we say very loud amen and now let us settle down quietly and listen to today's lesson let us sit down quietly 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 and listen to today's lesson welcome back children how was the dancing and praising and worshiping i'm sure you had an exciting time in god's presence yeah Okay, today's service, you know, we've been talking about the power of God's mercy. Yes, we're going to continue. The power of God's mercy. And our focus today is going to be on divine provision. Say it with me, divine provision. Yes. So the, today's story is going, to, is going to be around how God showed mercy and provided for the people. How God showed mercy on the people and provided for for the people are you ready okay the title of my story today is jesus feeds four thousand men everybody jesus feeds four thousand men long time ago jesus and his friend the disciples his friends are called disciples they are very close to him they went they went they gathered together and before you know it everybody all the crowd everybody gathered around jesus and his friends so he began to teach after teaching those who could not hear they came to him he healed them and they could hear the deaf could hear those who could not talk before they came to him and they started talking he prayed for them and those who could not walk before they came to jesus jesus prayed for them and they began to walk those who were injured, they had injuries all over their body. They were very sick. They came to Jesus. Jesus prayed for them and they became all again. He did all that for the crowd, every one of them. They were so happy and they praised the God of Israel. Okay, so after that, before then, you know I said the crowd came to Jesus. They have been with Jesus for three days. For that three days, Jesus has been doing all different kinds of miracles. He's been healing the sick. The deaf could hear, like I said before. So they were there with Jesus for three days without food. They had not eaten. How many of you did not take breakfast this morning? Okay, maybe some of us did not take breakfast. But how many of you did not eat dinner yesterday night? There's nobody. How many of you did not eat yesterday at all? You did not take breakfast. You did not take lunch. You did not take dinner. Is there anybody like that here? See, but these people had been with Jesus for three days. Three days without eating any food. But they were just listening to Jesus. They were listening to Jesus' message. And they could see how he was healing all the people that were sick. 
So after he healed every one of them, they give praise to God of Israel. But God now called his disciples, his very close friend. He called them and said, I feel sorry for all these people. I feel really sorry for them. I care for them because they have been with me for three days, but they have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them home like that because if I send them home, they might fall on the way before they get to the house because they are weak. How many of you will not eat for two days and will not be weak? Definitely. So Jesus didn't want to send those people home without eating because they've been there for three days without food. So he called his disciples that what can we do? I need to give these people food. I need to give them food. The disciples now checked among themselves that how are we going to get food in this lonely place? This place is lonely. There's nobody selling food. There's no fast, there's no restaurant where we can get maybe donuts or meat pie. There's no food restaurant where we can get food for them. There's no drink. There's nothing. How are we going to get food in this lonely place, in this wilderness? Okay, so Jesus now asked them, how many loaves of bread do you have? So the disciples, his friends, they went to check among themselves to see who has food among the crowd. So they went among the crowd and they find out that they had seven loaves of bread, seven, seven loaves of bread and little fish, few little fish. They had seven loaves of bread and little fish. So they brought it to Jesus. This is what we have. And what did Jesus do? Jesus said, okay, this is what you have. Bring it. He collected it. He blessed the food, prayed over it, and gave thanks to God. He collected the food, prayed over it, blessed it, and gave thanks to God. You know when you want to eat your food, mommy and your teacher will always say, bless your food or pray over your food before you eat. So Jesus collected the food, he prayed over it, blessed it, and gave thanks to God. And he now gave the food back to his disciples that, go, go and share it among the crowd, let them eat. And the disciples followed Jesus' instruction. They went to everybody. They started sharing the food to them. They gave this person. They gave the other person. They gave this person. They gave the other person. Everybody had food in their hands. And they began to eat. They all ate. They were very full and satisfied. And guess what? The food was remaining. The food was remaining. They all ate. They ate. They were very full. Their tummy was big. In fact, they were like, oh, I can't eat again. I'm full. I can't eat again. I'm full. Don't, it's okay. It's okay. You, what you're giving me, it's okay. They ate. They were full and satisfied. And guess what? The disciples now went to count how many food they had left after everybody had eaten. They had seven large baskets full of food left. How many loaves of bread did Jesus bless? Jesus blessed seven loaves of bread and few fishes. And after everybody ate and they were full, they had seven large baskets of food remaining. Wow! Is that not a miracle? That is a miracle. So they, 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 they had everything to themselves. They ate and they still had remaining. And when the disciples counted how many people ate, they counted 4,000 men, 4,000 men, without counting the women and the children. The only men they counted were 4,000 already, without counting children and women. So Jesus blessed the food and the food multiplied. He blessed the food and the food multiplied. Wow, Jesus is great. Jesus is great. So Jesus had mercy on the people by not sending them home without food. He gave them food to eat. They ate, they were full, and they had large baskets, full baskets, seven full baskets left behind. Good God. Good God. All right, children, that is the end of my story. That is the end of my story. So the lessons I want, lesson I want you to take home today is that God is full of mercy. God is full of mercy. Number two, I want you to know that God understands, Jesus understands us and pity us when we need his help. Jesus understands and knows when we need his help. So the only thing we have to do is 
call on him. When we call on him, he knows, he understands. So he will help us. Then another thing I want you to know is that God's mercy is always available to us. Whether we want it or we do not want it. You know, I said the people were with Jesus for three days. Three days, they were listening to him. They had not eaten any food and they did not complain. But Jesus had mercy on them. Jesus said, I don't want them to go without food because they are weak. He had mercy on them and he provided for them. So even if you think you don't need God's mercy, it is available to you. Then the last one is that God's mercy gives us all that we need. Everything you need. Is there anything you need? God's mercy would give it to you. God's mercy gives us everything we need. So I don't want you to forget these few points. Mm? That is good. So let's go into our memory verse. Our memory verse today is taken from Psalm 136 verse 25. Say after me, Psalm 136 verse 25. And what does it say? It says, God gives food to everyone because his mercy continues forever god gives food to everyone because his mercy continues forever that is it that is just it but i would like i would like to ask you a question let's just let's, let's just let me ask you a question and maybe when you go home you can think about it have you ever prayed to god for something you needed have you ever needed something very, you needed something, maybe you needed a new shoe or you needed a new dress and you prayed to God. Did God answer you? Tell me next week if God answered your prayer or not. And we would see how we go about that. Good children. So we've come to the end of today's service. I hope you enjoyed today's story and I hope you enjoyed God's presence today. Like I said, God is full of mercy. So let's take our confession confession before we leave a confession so you say after me the lord has shown me mercy so i have everything i need the lord has shown me mercy so i have everything i need good good children all right till i see you next week keep Staying under the shadow of the Almighty, and the Lord will protect you always. See you next week by God's grace. Bye bye. Wow, that was such a great story. God is full of mercy. Yes, I hope we also remember our memory verse. Don't forget it. And as we go this week, I want us to remember that God's mercy gives us all that we need. Okay, children, God keep you and God bless you as we go this week. Bye-bye. I'm sure that we all understood everything that we were taught today. And now let us sit the grace together in fellowship. And what do we do? When we want to say the grace, we put our right hands on our chest. Again, we put our right hands on our chest. So now, let us put our right hands on our chest and say the grace after me. The grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And we'll say again, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Amen. And the last one, the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places 
And yes, I have a goodly heritage of the Lord. Amen. That was awesome, children. See you all next week. Bye.